Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a look at our new platform called PyVisual. So this is a new platform to develop softwares. So the idea is very simple. You have a drag and drop interface like Canva and uh, what you can do is you can generate the code from it and you can simply run it in python so today i'm going to show you a very very simple demo of this uh, the reason behind this is that i want to show you the workflow of how it actually performs so let's go ahead and uh, start with our project so this is a window that we have uh, and what we can do is first of all we can go to our window and change the size for example i want 600 by 600 and i can click on set and then I can change the background color from here if I wanted to. And I also have some options of these backgrounds. If I wanted something very specific, I could write, uh, let's say, gradient. A lot of people prefer gradients. So I can simply click on one of these and it will load up. And uh, you can see based on the window. So that's the basic idea of how you can do this. We are going to keep it white for now, plain as simple so we will move on to the second part which is graphics and then we have button text and input so these are some of the features that we have added so far we are uh, adding more features as we go along now what exactly are we making today we are going to make uh, an app that actually uh, shows us different images of fruits so what I can do is I can click on graphics and I can search for fruits so the idea is that if I click on a button, it will keep iterating, keep showing me different fruits. So I can write here fruits, and then here I have uh, multiple fruits. So I can select, for example, banana. Similar to Canva, you can drag and drop and move things around. And uh, it's fairly easy to use. Let's say the strawberry looks good. So let's say I have these three images, right? And I want to, what do you call, show them when I click the button. So one of them should show when I click the button. So let's go ahead and uh, add our button. Let's say we select this one, create new. And okay, so this should be here in the center. And then uh, we can make it bigger and we can stretch it out. And then we can center it again. So, for example, I can write here, uh, let's say this is uh, change root, and then we can uh, make the size of this bigger, and then we have these fonts to pick from, let's say we choose enter, and then these are the dimensions, I can make it bold, italic, and stuff like that. Uh, this is the corner radius, let's say we can make it 20. Border, if you wanted to add border, you can do that and transparency and so on. So we have all these functionalities and uh, everything at the top here is basically uh, what's to do with the UI. And everything on the right hand side here in journal, it's the logic part. So you can actually assign some few functions, for example, on hover, on click, what exactly should you call? So you can write the function name here and it will call that function. But don't worry, we're not going to do that. Everything will be done by AI. So uh, by the way, this is not a no code platform. This is built for coders. So if you know a little bit of Python, you can actually create your own apps. So the idea is that it will help you write the code. It will not completely write the code for you, but it will help you out to do that. But for simple apps like this, it will pretty much write the code for you. So here, uh, we are pretty much done. You can add more stuff to it. You can add text, input field, and stuff like that. But we're not going to do that for now. And what we'll do is we'll click on the code button. And here you can see now we have the UI code. So this will automatically generate the code for you. Now, if you wanted to add the logic functionality, then uh, you can, for example, ask the AI to do it for you. That's what we are going to do. I have made the window smaller so it's easier to see. So uh, what I will do is I will type in here uh, a prompt that will tell it what exactly will the software do. So uh, on button click, the image should change. Display one image at a time. 
there you go that's how simple it is i'll click on send and now it will get the response and um, the ai model actually knows how to write the code for this library and that's why it will be able to write uh, the code for us and there you go and then it has also provided the logic so if you remember the logic was not there before so now the logic is there and if there are any event bindings it will add that too it's very simple um, and our ui code was previously present the main function and the ui code it's still there uh, that was auto generated so I, I can simply copy this and i will also download because uh, we have all these assets so we need to download those assets and bring in to our project it's very simple it's just drag and drop i will show you now how you can do this so here i will open the project first uh, this is project and whatever it will have is our file what do you call the main.py and it will also have the assets so i will right click and open in explorer and over here i'm going to copy all the assets uh, so it's basically simply drag and drop so i can copy both of these and drag it to our folder and what is happening okay <laughs> so it took a delay uh, not sure for what reason so now if i go to my assets i will have all the assets and my main file will have all the code so let's go ahead and run it so if i right click this and click on run and there is our window you can see if I click on change fruit, it changes the fruit, uh, although there is some scaling issue, but as you can see, the logic is implemented and the UI is implemented as well. Uh, probably when we sent it to AI, the AI probably changed the scale somehow. Uh, so maybe that is one of the issues. So we are working on a lot of these things, but again, the thing is the basic functionality works. There we have it. You can see the window is exactly the same size and the fruits are there the scaling again it's different but uh, we are working on the bugs and all that and we are adding a lot of features as well but you can see overall the functionality works and there is a complete flow uh, in which you will be able to drag and drop these uh, different buttons interfaces maybe menus tabs and all these good stuff where you can simply drag and drop and create these things so we also have the input uh, for now for example here uh, you can have an input value you can specify it's a text it's a number it's an email password what exactly are you getting and uh, then we also have the text different types of text and uh, you can for example bring those in and um, you can use those as well so again there's a lot of working behind uh, that still needs to be done but here is a quick demo of what we are building and let me know in the comments below if you found this interesting or not or will it be helpful for you or not and is this simple enough or not so i said a not a lot of times uh, and also and also i wanted to share that we have a waiting list for this so if you want to access this if you want to use it if you want to be a tester you can go ahead and sign up uh, the name of the software is pi visual so on our computer vision zone website uh, you can see we already have the landing page for this uh, a pi visual a python gui builder for humans <laughs> yeah it's for humans it's not like the other uh, softwares that are very hard to uh, grasp and for normal humans like they are for superhumans, right so for people like us normal humans uh, i think this will be a good idea or a good software so you can go ahead write your name email address and select a role and you can stay updated on the progress of this and we will let you know when it's launched so this is it for today let me know in the comments below what do you think and I will see you in the next one.